channel my name is Sonali if you guys didn't already know me and today I'm going to be showing you guys some new products I got from Ofra this is not a sponsored video but they did send me these goodies and I was really excited because I want to try out new products for you guys but it's hard being a college student and trying to like buy all this makeup so I'm really thankful to Ofra because these goodies are so amazing like look at my face right now look at this highlight Beverly Hills right here and if you like any of these products throughout the video the links will be down in the description box and you can use this code right here to get 30% off so might as well save some money while you're on the site by the way this is not gonna be a full makeup routine just because I feel like I repeat it every single time I like do a get ready with me so I'm mainly gonna be showing you just like the new products and reviewing them a little bit so if you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching I feel like I always have my hair setting and curls when I do get ready with me but at least it looks like a little wedding updo. So first I wanna show you guys my first ever contour palette, highlight and contour palette, my bad. It has six different shades. Obviously, I'm probably gonna be using this one the most. I think I was the most excited about this and the liquid lipsticks, but this because I've never really tried out a contour and highlight palette before, and it always makes everyone's makeup so much more dramatic, and I like my makeup dramatic. So I'm gonna be using the darkest brown that I showed you guys, and let's just wing it, guys. I don't really know what I'm doing with this, so. I've tried this a lot this past weekend when I was at an Indian wedding, um, and I actually really liked it, but personally, I just feel like powder bronzer is a lot faster. It's just a fact. And I've recently cut the time that I do my makeup down. So adding this cream contour step adds more time that I like cut down. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. But the product itself is really good. Obviously, it's really pigmented. And I do think I'm gonna put powder bronzer over it just to like give it a little bit of a more dramatic look. But I will say this definitely does add a lot because a lot of the time powder bronzer just wipes away after 15 minutes that you put it on. But I feel like cream bronzer stays a lot longer if not the whole night. This brush is a MAC brush and it loses hair so easily, it's disgusting. Like, it's actually annoying because like, I feel like MAC should have like the best brushes in the world just cause like, of the name MAC, you know what I mean? But, I also haven't filmed a video in like forever, so I'm looking a lot in the viewfinder. Sorry about that. <laughs> the key to doing cream contour is to do it right after your foundation or concealer. Like, do it at the stage that everything's still moist and wet and you didn't put on any powder. All this hair is on my face, gotta brush it off really quick. So then I'm just taking my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay and I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. This is a regular step, so I do it all the time, every single day that I wear makeup. <laughs> I haven't worn makeup like since last weekend, so don't even know what I'm doing anymore, just kidding. But it's definitely weird when you haven't worn makeup in a while and then you do makeup and you're like, whoa, I actually don't look like a potato when I try. <laughs> I feel like it makes me feel so put together when I do my makeup on school days, but I only have one face-to-face -face class this semester at least, so I'm just like, what's the point? <laughs> but next semester, I have class every single day. I'm so excited. Look at my face, can't you tell? I'm actually really pissed. <laughs> But I was expecting it. Um, I definitely did take advantage of my gen eds because there's a lot of gen eds online. But now since I'm in my major radio television, I have to take a lot of them it, like face to face, which is obviously, obviously Sonali, that was gonna happen. So I'm not really surprised about it, but I will say it's gonna be weird going on campus every single day except Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Um, especially when you're used to almost never going. <laughs> it's college, gotta get used to it. This is like the first time I wet my beauty blender in a while. I just thought I would be like 
patting the cream contour out, but I guess I didn't do that. I think I might add a little more actually because I want it to be like really dramatic, guys. Like I want my contour to be popping. So today, I get to see Thomas Rhett for free. I'm literally gonna cry. I'm going to cry. I want him to sing at my wedding <laughs> when I when I do get married, whenever that will be. Um, I want him to sing Die a Happy Man. And what's the other song? The first song I ever liked. It's like um, something about a song like, hey girl, I wanna write you a song or something. I haven't heard it in so long that I don't even know, know the tune anymore, which is weird. Basically, one girl in my sorority knew another girl in another sorority that works for someone at Country Flow is where I'm going. Um, and they were like, hey, comment your emails if you want a free ticket. Like, yes, please. <laughs> at first, I was like, uh, that sounds kind of sketchy. Like, how do I just get a free ticket, you know? But... My friend Kaylin talked me into it, so I'm going. It seems pretty legit, so <laughs> let's hope we get in because it's one hour and 40 minutes away from here. So that'll be a fun road trip today. We're going at six, it is currently almost five, so I have like an hour to get Sue's high because I kind of want that for dinner to take in the car with me. I've never gone to like a festival. Like this is actually considered a festival. It's like all day today, all day tomorrow. I think we're going tomorrow, I'm not really sure. But I'm kind of scared because I, I don't know. I just get really nervous when it's not like an area that I like know of, if that makes sense. I don't know. My eyebrows look really bad right now, so don't make fun of them. I'm going through a really bad phase. <laughs> now I'm gonna test out the Signature Eyeshadow Palette, the Contour Eyes one. So it has all my brown shades that I love to use. But so first I'm gonna be using this single shadow and truffle and putting this all over my crease. This is super pigmented. I also really like their packaging because almost everything comes with a mirror, like the contour palette and this one too, which is very nice because I feel like all eyeshadow palettes should have one. Some don't, but they should. I don't know what's going on with my eyebrows. I swear it's going to look better when everything's together, so don't make fun of me until the very end. And if they still look bad, then you can make fun of me. <laughs> I swear I forget how to do my eyebrows after one week of not wearing makeup. I don't know what's with me. Okay, so we're going to go on to the palette and I'm probably just gonna go from light to dark. I'm gonna use this shadow first and then probably go to this one. Okay, I'm gonna start with this on my lid and then I'm gonna blend it out into the crease. I love, 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 love really, really dark lids now with a brown, not a black, but maybe I'll get to that black phase. <laughs> this is the first time I'm actually using this eyeshadow palette and I kind of think I like the single shadows a little bit better, but this is very convenient. I mean, look at it. It's like all browns that I love in one palette. It's skinny, but it's a good amount of eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with, let's see. I'm gonna take this dark brown and put it on my lid as well. I just like to build it up from light to dark. You guys know me. Definitely gonna go put some more truffle in the crease though, so I can have like that blended look. I feel like I've showed you guys this thing many times before. This is the Color Switch Duo by Veramona, and basically you do this with your brush and it takes off all the color. So since I wanna go back to light, I'm gonna do this really quick to get all that dark eyeshadow off my brush and it comes right off. I feel like I usually go for a warm dark brown and this is like more on the cool side. So I'm gonna try to warm it up with this truffle. I'm basically done with my eyes. I think I need to clean it up a little bit here. And maybe I can put a little truffle on the under eyes. I'm gonna go and put eyeliner and mascara on and I'll be back. I did put on a bronzer. It's just an eyeshadow from Makeup Forever. And now we're gonna move into blush. This is the Rendezvous blush from Ofra. 
and I honestly thought it was a little bit darker on on the site but I don't really care I think this is such a pretty color it's like a peachy peachy color now onto the best part the highlighters so this is Beverly Hills and this is Rodeo Drive and I'm gonna do a quick swatch on my fingers for you guys to see I just swirl all of it in and then obviously for Rodeo Drive just go like that all right, I'm gonna show you these swatches really quick this is a more rose gold highlighter and this is um, Beverly Hills and the gold one is Rodea Drive. They're insanely pigmented. Sometimes I do layer both, but today I'm just gonna go for the rose gold look. So I'm gonna take Beverly Hills and swirl my brush in it. Now time for lips. I have this long-lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Americano, and it reminds me of Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I really like that color but I really think this formula is a hundred times better like I kid you not it feels like you're wearing nothing on your lips which is so great because liquid lipsticks like a lot of them are really drying these days and I, I literally can't deal with that because I like always need moisture on my lips so usually I put glosses over Kylie's liquid lipsticks but I feel like with this one it doesn't really need anything So the shade is a little bit too red for me. So I'm gonna go in with Dubai from Ofrix and kind of blend them two together. I'm gonna put this in the middle. I really like mixing those two because it kind of gives it a more muted tone because I don't really like to wear too bold of lipsticks if it's just like an everyday wear. So that's it of this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I also have a coupon code for Ofra. It's 30% off anything on the website. All of the Ofra products I talked about will be linked in the description below so you can check those out and use that code to save some money. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Let me love, boy, what you know Ooh, for boy, let me